I'll be back with a regular tutorial on Monday, but I have two quick things that I have to share with you that just couldn't wait. Last Friday, I met with the Fusion 360 team to discuss the general reactions to the personal use license changes. Now in that conversation, there was one change that I was fighting for. Based on your feedback and my personal opinion, it was clear that the removal of the step export was the biggest issue. Now I do believe they had good intentions here, but they overlooked how big this would actually affect the hobbyist community. A few days ago, I got a message on Slack and I've been biting my lip ever since. Now, if you didn't catch it this morning, Autodesk announced that they retracted their idea to remove the export of step files from the personal use license. So what that means is from now on, you will still be able to export as a step file if you have the personal use license. Now, if you're looking for confirmation, you can check out an update on the original blog post and you'll also see they've updated the official personal use license webpage. I hope you're as happy as I am about the news and to be on the safe side, I still recommend that you export all your files and have a manual backup on your local machine. Now, if you haven't, check out my last tutorial where I show how to automate the process so you don't have to waste time doing it one by one. The second thing I wanted to announce is an update to the 3D modeling challenge that I just launched. Now I spoke with the sponsor things.com this morning and they were generous enough to throw in a 3D printer to sweeten the deal for the grand prize. So if you wanna participate in the challenge, be sure to check out the instructions in the video description down below and make sure to upload as many submissions as you would like by October 9th. Feel free to comment your questions about the challenge on this video and I'll do my best to answer everything and then I'll see you guys on Monday when I release a regular tutorial.